a problem but with a purpose. UT Ag researcher Larry Steckel is allowing ryegrass to thrive in this experimental winter wheat crop. One part of the field was treated with herbicides, the other wasn't. Dr. Steckel wants to observe how this harmful weed can choke a field. Uh, ryegrass is a real issue for our wheat growers in the Mid-South, in Tennessee particularly, uh, and one of the big reasons is again is herbicide resistance. That's a common problem for today's farmers. Weeds like Palmer pigweed have adapted over time. Roundup Ready herbicides, which used to be very effective, now hardly phase the plant. Palmer grows crazy fast in hot wet weather, inches a day. And once this weed is four inches high, it might as well be four feet. The significance of that is, is once a Palmer pigweed gets four, four and a half inches tall, there's no herbicide that will control it. UT Ag researchers are now advising Tennessee farmers to treat Palmer with herbicides that were widely used decades ago. Those seem to work best, but there's the expense, pushing 50 bucks an acre sometimes. Just how big is this problem? Weeds cost Tennessee farmers $150 million a year more than just three years ago. That's the cost of the herbicides and the crops that have been lost when weeds took over fields. UT Ag Research is looking into herbicide resistant varieties, but also cultural practices such as tillage, cover crops, row width and crop rotation in the battle against weeds. UT's Dr. Bob Hayes says this research is critical to protect our environment and maintain decent yields for producers. And that takes a number of years of, of evaluation and testing of that material. Uh, starts out with the regulated trials and then we've got to put all those components together in a system in the field and prove that concept works in the real world. Meantime, the real world for farmers is one where Palmer pigweed will be around for perhaps a good decade or so. Producers will have to farm with the expectation of having a weed problem and look forward to the day when technology catches up with some of these harmful plants. This is Chuck Denny reporting.